Hello and welcome back. In this part of the tutorial, I'm going to start developing the service classes as well as implement some unit testing. Service classes are the classes that make use of the repositories to implement the business logic. The idea behind it is basically to separate the UI logic and the business logic. So I'll just right click here and create the first service class. And I'll place all the services in a separate package. I'll call this one user service. Then I'll annotate it with a service annotation so that this class will be created as a bin and placed in the application context. So I'll start by injecting here the user repository auto wired private user repository. Then I'll create a method to insert a new user. So I'll just call this save user or let me say create user. And we're taking the user we want to create. And before creating a new user, we want to hash the password. So I'll use bcrypt to do that. So bcrypt password encoder. I'll just call it here encoder. So user that set password. Set password. Encoder dot encode and again here our type user dot get password and next we need to assign a role to the user so I'll create a role here I'll just call it user role And this will be a role of type user. So I'll just type here yeah, user. Then I'll create here a list of roles because the user can only take a list of roles. I'll call it roles. This should be a new array list. Then I'll add this row to the RLS. So rows dot add user row. Then user dot set rows. Rows that is fine. And finally we save the user. So user repository dot save user now notice that i save only the user here this is because in the user class here i added this cascade type of all this one here so meaning when this user is being persisted the roles will also the role we created here will also be persisted in the database next i will just go ahead and copy this and paste it here and I'll call it create admin and all what I'll change here is I'll set this to admin then I'll create a method here that returns just one user so public user I'll call it find one it takes in the email of the user we want to return and here I'll type return 
user repository dot find one and pass in the email of the user for the time being i'll leave this class like this and we are going to be adding other functionalities later on then i'll create another service class for the task so this should be task service or oh, annotated with a service annotation and I'll also start by injecting the tax repository inside here so at autowired So I'll create here a method that assigns a task to a user. So public void, I'll call it add task. This would take in the task. And the user. And all what we need to do here is task that set user. And then we save the task. Task repository. Dot save. Task. Next, I'll create a method that returns a list of tasks assigned to a particular user. So public list task. I'll just call it here find user task. This will take in the user and here I'll type return task repository dot find by user and passing the user now this method does not exist in the repository we need to create it so by so doing spring data jpa will use this method name here and generate a query that returns a list of tags based on this user id by the way on the documentation of Spring Data GPA, you can see the different query names that can be specified. I have it here open. So if you head over to this page, you'll see all the different method names that are supported. So next, I'll test these methods in a unit test class. By default, Spring Boot generates a unit test class for us, and that is located in this source test Java folder. If you expand this and expand the default package we have here, you'll see we have here a test class. It makes use of JUnit and Spring Boot test. I'll start by injecting inside here the user as well as the task service class we just created. So I'll get rid of this method here and instead create the following. I'll call this one init db. And I'll start by inserting some test users in the database. So here I'll create a new user. I'll call it new user. We need the email or just call it test user at mail.com. The name or call it test user 
as well as the password. I'll set it to one, two, three, four, five, six. Then I'll call the create user method from the service class and pass in this user. So user service dot create user and pass in this user. This should be new user. Like so. So next I'll copy this and do the same thing for the admin. So I'll just paste it here and call this one here admin user. Or just test admin. And I'll also create a new task and assign it to this user. So task we need the date for the start time I'll just set here And in the description, I'll type here So I'll assign this tax to this user I'll copy this User User Or use the user service to find that user from the database then I can now call tag service dot add tags and pass in the user tags and this user object so I'll annotate this method with at before annotation which means that before any test that we are going to create here is executed this method will first of all execute so I'll create the following method here and annotate it with add test annotation I'll call it test user And I'll basically just copy this one here and paste it here. And all what I'll do here is I'll assert that this is not equal to no. So I'm passing the user object. Again, I'll copy this. and change this one here to admin then I'll just go ahead and copy this test admin mail here and paste it here so here I'll assert that the emails are equal so asset equal I'll select this one here so we are asserting that admin dot get get email should be equal to this email. And finally, I'll create another test method here, and I'll call it test task. And all what I'll do here is I'll find the tags that are assigned to this user. 
So list. This should be task here. So task service. Dot find user tags and passing that user. And now I said that this list is not equal to null. So I said not null. I'm passing the task. So next, I'll run the test by right clicking on the class and selecting run as JUnit test. Now, if everything is green here, then the test was successful. So as you can see here in the console, all the inserts to the database as well as the selects were done. Also, the two test methods that we declared were successfully tested. So in the next video, I'm going to start developing the front end of the application. Until then, see you.